Hi, this is Bryce with Phytech Fuel Injection. This week we're going to go over why your handheld might not be saving the calibration changes you're making. Have you just received a new handheld or you got a new system that you're having some difficulties saving the software? There is a lot of steps involved to make a saving tune correct. When you go into the system, you always want to make sure that the key is on on the vehicle. You want to make sure the handheld is connected. An easy way to see that is if you go to the dashboard section of the handheld. Just look for values in the value column. For example, the first one in there is RPM. If your key on, engine off, RPM should be a zero. If you see that, you can jump back out, go to your initial setup, into engine setup, and when you go to make your changes, you wanna make sure that every single item that you're changing, you're hitting send to ECU. So if you're changing your cubic inch, you adjust it, hit the okay button or the send to ECU on the handheld. Then you go to your next item, if that's a cam, if it's a different transmission, any menu, it's the same way. You want to confirm by hitting the OK button or the Send to ECU button. They both do the same thing. After you finish that, you want to key off on the vehicle. When you key off, as long as there's power maintained on the battery connection, the system's going to go through a save sequence that takes about 15 seconds. Again, if you were on the dashboard, you can see this save by watching the values. The zero for RPM will be there for about 15 seconds. When the zero disappears, the system has saved and shut off. Now, if you've gone through this procedure and everything is correct the way that I've just described and the system's still not saving, the new Phytech handhelds have a special feature. What the feature does is it locks out the calibration in the handheld. So even if you adjust anything, the system will revert back to its known good tune. Again, this is for the engine builders is why it was created, but sometimes when you do a software update or you receive a new handheld, it becomes a real pain if you don't know it exists. And if it's on, it prevents you from making saves. So it's really easy to check. Under display setup on the main menu of the handheld, you go in there, we'll scroll down to the bottom. There's an option calibration unlock. When we send out the handhelds and systems when we test them, they're set to disable, but if that value is on enable, it locks the tune so you can't change anything. So if you're finding yourself having a hard time saving and you're doing your send to ECU, cycle the key off and all of that correctly, jump into your display setup, check your calibration unlock, make sure it's on disable, and once you got it set, you're ready to tune in the handheld and any adjustments you make in the tuning section or the initial setup will permanently save. I hope that helps you guys out with this week's Tech Tuesday. If you have any other questions, please ask them down below in the comments section. Also visit our website, phytechefi.com for additional videos.